Hello serverless people, Enrico here. In this video, I want to show you how to create a pre URL with S3 and Lambda. I will be using Node.js and serverless framework to deploy the application. If you want to see other similar content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I publish a new video every Thursday. So let's get started. By default, all objects in S3 are private. If you want the user to have access to a specific bucket or objects, without making them public. You can provide the user with the appropriate permission using an IAM policy. In addition to this, you can also create a pre-signed URL, meaning users can interact with objects without the need for AWS credential or IAM permissions. More specifically, a pre-signed URL is a URL that you can provide to your users to grant temporary access to a specific S3 object. Using the URL, a user can either read the object or write an object, or update an existing object. The URL contains specific parameters which are set by your application. A pre URL uses three main parameters to limit the access to the user. Bucket, so bucket name, key, which is the file name, and expires. So let's follow along this graph. Um, the user of your application can request through an API request to a Lambda function a uh, sign URL for a get object action, for example. The Lambda function will take care of create a sign URL with the get permission, and it will send back the URL that the user can use. Let's see this graph. How can we uh, replicate this graph through a Lambda function? If you go on the code, I spin up a new project with serverless framework. Uh, I'm going to on the serverless YAM file. As you can see, I have created um, IAM role statements to allow some actions for the Lambda function, like get object, get object version, and put object. These are needed for the Lambda function to create uh, a get URL or to create a post URL to get or upload files in a specific bucket. I am specifying the bucket using a config.json file here, as you can see. So I'm specifying region, stage, and S3 bucket. So I can refer to this var variable both on the serverless YAM file, both on my Lambda functions code. On the serverless YAM file, I've created two Lambda functions. One is the uh, function that get that creates, sorry, the get URL, and the other one is the function that creates a post URL. Let's go and check the um, create get URL function. It's here, as you can see, function slash handler slash create URL. At the top of the function, I have imported the um, AWS SDK library. I'm actually using the new version for JavaScript, which is version number three. It has different namespaces based on what you want to do. In this case, we are um, creating a get signed URL. So I will use this function to get a signed URL that my user can use to get private objects on in, in my bucket. What I'm doing here is, uh, I forgot to mention that the um, get function has a path param called file key. So my user will specify the file name that he wants to get from my uh, S3 bucket. I'm getting the file key from the path parameters of my payload. So it's event.path parameter. I am initializing the S3 client using uh, the region value that I get from the, from the config file. And then I get the file key, which is the name of the file that my client wants to get. Next step is to create a get object command. And I am passing the uh, packet name again from the config file and the key name. The key name is um, a composition between the prep path. So in my S3 bucket, I have like a sign URL demo path, which I use just for this demo. And then the key, the key is again the file key that my user wants to get. What I'm going to do next is I created the command and then I'm going to call the get sign URL API from the AWS library. All right, I have everything that I need for the get sign URL API. So I'm passing the client, which is the S3 client, the command, which is the uh, command to get the file from the bucket and the key, and the expires in, the expires in value is in seconds, yes, and is the um, number of seconds before the press on URL expires. So here I'm setting like 60 minutes. Once I have the URL, I'm going to send back the URL to my uh, client. 
So I already deployed this, this Lambda function. Let's see from, I will use Postman to try out the API. Okay, so this is Postman. I am using a get as specified on the serverless YAML file. I am asking for this file on my S3 bucket, which is a doge image and it's called doge.jpg. So if I send here, I get a URL from the uh, API. And if I am I'm copying the URL, if I go on browser and click here, I can see the image. So I can see the image only because I have these values, as you can see on the um, URL. If I omit these ones, you will see that the, the object is actually private. You see, I can't see it without the token that my API just returned to me. And that's the uh, flow for the get object API. Now I'm going to show you the same thing, but if you want to upload or update an object on an S3 bucket. So this was the example for the uh, get object with the press hand URL. You can do the same thing, but for the post object. So like if you want to up upload or update an object on a private S3 bucket. So let's see how is the, um, the flow if you want to do that and post a new object or update. So let's see how we can obtain a pre-sign URL in order to post an object into our S3 bucket. So the first thing is uh, quite similar to the previous example. So we send a post request to the Lambda function, which is going to use actually, sorry, here is a get request because first we need to get the URL from Lambda. So I am requesting the, I'm calling a Lambda function and the Lambda function is going to use the create, create pre-signed post from the AWS library and it's going to create a um, pre-signed post URL. I'm then passing this post URL with the data, it's called actually fields for on the library uh, to my client. When my client has the URL plus the fields needed and the fields are like AWS token, AWS algorithm, and AWS expressing, very similar to the ones we have seen on the previous example, my client is able to upload a file using directly the sun URL. So we don't need any server in the middle. Our client can directly upload the file into the S3 bucket. So we save CPU and bandwidth on our server, on, on, on our Lambda function. Now I want to show you the Lambda function that creates the pre-signed post URL. So let's go again. The project is the same. So if we go back uh, on the server's YAML, here is create put URL. Uh, path is update URL, method get. I think here there is a typo, I should say post. Doesn't matter really. And here is post again. So in this case, I'm using um, another API, which is create pre-signed post. And it's another, it's on the AWS SDK S3 uh, pre-signed post. So once I have imported the create pre-signed post, I have to set some parameters. So the create pre-signed post needs a client, which is again the S3 client. And then it needs the bucket name, the key of the file, so the file name. Again, here I am setting the path and then uh, a random key name. And then I'm setting uh, expires, which is again the seconds uh, before the URL expires. I'm setting here 10 minutes. So I, I will give my client 10 minutes to upload the file. Once I have the response, I'm sending back to the client the URL and the fields. The fields are mandatory because we need to set the token in order to in order to Amazon to authenticate our request. So let's try again as we have done before to do it on Postman. So here really I am requesting a URL and the fields. So let me send. Okay, we obtained the URL which is uh, our URL of the S3 bucket and the fields uh, you have to append all the fields on your request. So as you can see is here in the case, like the bucket name, then it is like algorithm, credential, date, security token, and loads or other fields that are needed from Amazon to authenticate your client. With this data, your client, as you can see, can, can go through and update the file. 
And that's all for the uh, Prisani URL post object. I hope this uh, tutorial was useful. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will post the GitHub repo of the code in the description. Thanks for watching and remember to hit the like button to support the channel.